Hi, the purpose of this video is to show you how to get a rather new generation, one of the TI Inspire CX calculators, into press to test mode. One of the more important things to remember about these calculators is that in order to be able to get them into press to test mode, which in the old days, if you were using an 83 or an 84, it would be like clearing the memory, um, is that you can't have the calculator turned on. So first thing I'm going to do is just hit Control Home to turn the calculator off. And then when the calculator is off, I press Escape and the Home button at the same time. The screen pops up and it gives you a selection set that you can go with about um, a whole bunch of different options. Now, quite often, you're going to be able to leave these settings as is. One of the best things, at least for me as a physics teacher, is that it has uh, it chosen to be in degree mode right now, which is fantastic. I don't have to tell students to jump back. But you can tab to jump down through a whole bunch of these other options. Now, depending on a particular exam that might be given, um, you know, in a particular district or something like that, you might have to disable some of these functions. Quite often, though, at least in my experience from a physics standpoint, leaving all of these enabled is no problem. Now, at this point, with it highlighted as enter press to test, the only thing that I would have to do now is just hit the enter button on the calculator one more time but I'm not going to actually do that. Uh, I would just have to press the enter button right here. But um, if I didn't have another Inspire calculator here, I wouldn't be able to take it out of press to test mode. So I'm not actually going to go that far with my calculator. If you do have a calculator though that is in press to test mode, what you'll need to do is get another calculator and plug into the port on the top with it. Then on the calculator that's in press to test mode, you'll want to um, jump in through the dock menu. As long as you have a document currently open, hit on the dock menu, and you can see right down here at the very bottom of the list, whoops, as I jump through too many here, right at the very bottom is a selection uh, for press to test mode. And if I select that right now, you can see it's giving me options like the only one that's actually available to me is help because I'm not in press to test mode. But if I was, I would just simply choose one and it would exit press to test mode. You can only do that though, remember, when you are physically connected to another Inspire calculator. Thank you very much.